Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. The other day I came across really interesting data about the surge in gold purchases across the world and I thought I would share the details with you because I think they give a really good indication of the general consensus and the trends that we can use to set our own expectations and maybe even to use this information as a tool to help us make our own decisions related to personal finances. I know everyone's situation is different, especially now, but my goal here is to share uh, key facts and the information that will help you navigate through these challenging both economically and financially, among other things, times. So let's talk about the role of precious metals. While gold and silver don't generate consistent income, they are used as a hedge. So with that in mind, the latest data shows that central bank demand for gold makes a record-breaking start to 2023 and is expected to continue. Last year, in 2022, for example, the demand broke previous records and it continued to increase during the 2023. Last year was the highest level of net purchases, by the way, on record, dating all the way back to the 1950s. Even before the crisis of 2008, central banks did not buy as much gold as they're buying now. So that is a really interesting fact to keep in mind. Before we move on, please consider subscribing to my channels on YouTube and Rumble if you haven't already, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. International central banks continue buying gold. It's not just the developed nations that add this precious metal to their bank reserves, but emerging economies too. According to World Gold Council, demand hit 228 tons in the first quarter of 2023 alone, 176 tons more than during the same period last year. What countries are now the top buyers of gold? The Monetary Authority of Singapore was the largest single buyer during the quarter. Singapore was followed by the People's Bank of China. Since late 2022, China quickly added 120 tons to its gold reserves. Its total reserves are now reported to be approximately 4% of total gold reserves in the world. As a side note, there are speculations that China may have thousand tons of gold secretly in a separate entity that is called the State Administration for Foreign Exchange. So it may have been a mystery buyer with gold reserves far larger than the rest of the world believes. China ranks as the largest gold market in the world. The third, the fourth, and the fifth places go to Turkey, India, and Russia. Gold makes up 25% of Russia's total reserves, as it has been reported. So with that being said, those of you who have been following news related to the BRICS can easily see that out of the five top gold buyers in 2023, four are founding members of the BRICS alliance that has set to create an alternative currency to the United States dollar. As the US dollar continues to lose its value, BRICS nations develop strong economic and trade ties using their national currencies, and now they are substantially increasing their central bank gold reserves. This is an excellent visual that represents central bank demand for gold over time. There's definitely a sharp upward trend, the start of which correlates with the second quarter of 2022. According to the World Gold Council, there are two main reasons why central banks have been increasing their gold reserves. The first driver is the geopolitical uncertainty, of course, coupled with persistent inflation. The second reason for such an increase in purchasing gold is its ability to be a store of value over a long period of time. It is a real asset unlike any fiat currency that exists in the world today. This is clearly shown in the illustration published by the World Gold Council. The chart starts sometime in the mid-1970s, I believe, and goes all the way through the beginning of 2023. As you can tell, gold did yield positive returns in five out of the last seven recessions. Also, it's important to mention here that historically, a recession is not a prerequisite for gold to perform well. Even a sharp drop in economic growth is in most cases enough for gold to do really well, especially when inflation is high or is rising. 
gold purchases increased not just among central banks, but also among consumers. Consumers have been buying more gold. This is, of course, not surprising, and not only is there an increase, but there is actually an increase in purchases of physical gold. Nowadays, more and more people want to be physically in control of their investments. And so as the result of that, physical gold investment was up 5% year over year in the first quarter 2023. You may remember that gold prices increased during the first quarter, but yet it didn't really seem to stop investors from putting more of their money into gold coins and gold bars. Demand for gold coins came in at 96.5 tons. This is a 14% annual increase. Bar demand was 182 tons, a slight 1% drop year over year. Overall, gold bar and coin demand jumped 40% from the fourth quarter of 2022. What I thought was really interesting is that such a jump in consumer demand for gold is a global trend. Demand for bar and coin investment surged in China as well during the first quarter, so not just the United States. Reportedly, 66 tons were purchased by investors in China. That was actually a 34% jump year over year. The World Gold Council on its website says that it believes the demand for gold will continue to grow during the rest of 2023. Its official global investment outlook mentions a couple of really interesting points. Western European, specifically Germanic demand for gold is likely to increase as these countries seek to protect their wealth China's economic growth is likely to improve, which will fuel an increased demand for precious metal as well. If you want to learn more about how you can take advantage of investing in gold, you may want to speak to a precious metal specialist at Birch Gold. It has become obvious that keeping your money in a bank is no longer a safe option. The best thing that we can do now to protect our savings and investments is to diversify with physical precious metals, including gold and silver. This is because these precious metals are the ultimate store of value. With Birch Gold, you can purchase precious metals for physical possession. They will deliver the gold that you purchase to you, or you can choose to roll over your retirement account into a precious metals IRA. The best part of rolling over your IRA into a precious metals IRA is that there are zero tax implications or penalties. Investing in gold and silver is an ideal way to protect your savings against the volatility in the stock market, to hedge against inflation, and to safeguard against geopolitical instability. Birch Gold will help you achieve those goals. Follow the link shared in the description below and speak to a precious metal specialist to learn how you can get started. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all of your support. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube and Rumble channels and check out my newsletter on Substack. You will find these links below. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.